what's being done to fight dogfighting in the city. Fox 2 News, news that works for you, starts now. We hear about evictions all the time in Metro Detroit. It's a sad fact of life these days. But in Redford, a landlord planning to evict a tenant instead found the renter dead inside the home. Fox 2's Taryn Asher with more on the man who police say had been living with the decomposing corpse for months. I haven't seen Annie, and I'm afraid she could be dead. And that man that was living with her, I asked him, and he told me she moved out. Connie Lash knew something was wrong. She hadn't seen her dear friend Annie Marquis in at least three months. They lived a few doors down from each other at the Longs Mobile Home Court in Redford. The last time she had spoken to the 72-year-old, Connie says she asked Annie about the man that had moved into her trailer who didn't seem right. She told me she knew him for 30 years. And I said, what are you doing with him? He don't act right. He throws his hands up in the air and he bows down on the ground. I couldn't understand. No one in the mobile home park had seen or heard from Annie in months. She was also months behind in her rent. Neighbors say the manager had no choice but to evict her, and that led to a shocking discovery earlier this week. When the landlord came to evict Annie, a man answered the door like everything was fine, but apparently it wasn't. The landlord looked inside and saw Annie's decomposing body laying on the sofa bed. She had been dead for months. Police arrested the 64-year-old man who had been living with Annie. Investigators say, according to the medical examiner's office, the elderly woman who died of natural causes had been dead since last November. But her 64-year-old roommate never reported it and had been living with her dead body and off her money ever since. She kept going to the bank before she died and... Um, he must have got the money. Police say the 64-year-old man is in custody and will be charged Friday with financial fraud and not reporting a dead body. I think that's terrible. In Radford, Taryn Asher, Fox 2 News. It's a six-figure payday for Turkiya Mullen. The former airport director is getting more than $700,000 in severance pay after an arbitrator ruled she was wrongly fired by the airport authority in November of 2011. At the time, Mullen had just received a controversial $200,000 payout after leaving her job as the Wayne County Economic Development Director. The airport authority says it is disappointed with the outcome of the arbitration but claims that taxpayers won't pay a dime of this. The airport authority is self supporting he refused to confirm it for months, but now Detroit Mayor Dave Bing says he is considering a run for re-election. Bing called reporters at the city clerk's office today where he signed his nomination petition and collected his petition forms. It lays the groundwork for a possible campaign, but in a news conference a short time later, the mayor said that he still hasn't made up his mind. When I make the decision uh, to get in it, then yes, I'm in it to win it. Now, Bing admits he's not sure another four years will fix the city, but he does believe it's on the right track. Meanwhile, the latest candidate to enter the race, Tom Barrow, will join fellow candidate Lisa Howes tonight right here on Let It Rip. You'd think they'd learn, but another prominent local official is in trouble for sexting, and it may cost him his job. Removal proceedings underway today for Circuit Court Judge Wade McCree, and his defense has a familiar ring to it. Fox 2's Charlie LaDuff with the story. Well, we're at the Washtenaw County Courthouse here in Ann Arbor today to hear some pretrial motions in connection with the dismissal case of disgraced Wayne County Circuit Court Judge Wade McCree. Now, if you don't remember who he is, here's a quick primer. Hot dog. Yep, that's me. Yeah, no, shoot, no, no shame in my game. Judge, you said you'd give her anything if she aborted the baby, so why'd you call the prosecutor on her? What did she do wrong? Sir, did what you, you're a criminal judge. Is what you did criminal? Well, the hearing was kind of weird. The first thing you got to know is Judge McCree didn't even bother to show up. That surprised even the judge. I guess it should also be noted on the record that uh, uh, Mr. McCree is not here and evidently is not going to come, correct? Yeah, I think there's no need, there's no rule that requires him to be here. No, he didn't have to be here. I just thought he have some interest. Now, the second weird thing about today is Judge McCree seems to be taking a page out of Kwame Kilpatrick's book. His lawyer admits that he was sleeping with a young woman that had a case before him, but those text messages, they can't be confirmed, and at best, they're irrelevant. They haven't authenticated these 
messages at all. These have nothing to do with anything other than some titillation over some, I'm sorry to say it, 56 year old guy who's, who's carrying on a relationship with an attractive, very attractive apparently, I've never seen her, 30 year old woman. We are not dealing with an extramarital affair by just anyone. We are dealing with an extramarital affair by a judge who had met his mistress during court proceeding on a case that was pending before him, a case that he had exchanged text messages discussing, communicating, talking about the sentencing of the defendant in a case in which Ms. Mott was the complaining witness. So the judge ruled the text messages are admissible. Although he sealed them, we'll all be able to hear them come May 20th when the trial kicks off for real. Reporting in Ann Arbor, Charlie Ledoff, Fox 2 News. They like to shop, but they don't pay the bill. Tonight, police are looking to catch a couple of crooks who are racking up the charges on stolen credit cards. Take a look. Police in Ypsilanti Township tipped us off to this duo using at least four stolen cards at a gas station. At least one of the cards was stolen during a car break-in in Ann Arbor earlier this month. Investigators tell us the suspects could possibly be driving a light olive green Ford Focus. If you recognize either man, call Crime Stoppers 1-800-SPEAK-UP. She may have been used as bait for dog fighting and left in the street to die, but thanks to a local rescue operation, an injured dog will have a better future. Fox News' Amy Lang has a story, but we have to warn you, the images you're about to see are disturbing. But what's inside this cage is far from pretty. It's gruesome, but it's important to understand what's happening to some animals in our community. This dog, malnourished and badly hurt, barely surviving, was found near Toledo and Junction in southwest Detroit on Tuesday. Someone saw her in the street being tormented by some young men and called home forever rescue. She was in shock. She had a lot of wounds and she was bleeding profusely. She'd definitely been attacked by another dog, okay? That's a given, all right? And then she had wounds all around her neck, her face, you know, the sides of her shoulders. Um, you know, mostly punctures, some what we call lacerations, cuts, um, and they were bleeding quite a bit. Dr. Nathan Booth from Wilson Veterinary Clinic can't say for sure that Toledo was used as bait for dog fighting, but volunteers from Home Forever fear that's exactly what happened to her. They use these dogs that are non-aggressive to make other dogs aggressive. The problem with dog fighting is that it's a it's a very large underground scene. Michigan now has some of the toughest laws in the nation regarding animal fighting. Last year, the Michigan Humane Society investigated 172 dog fighting complaints and more than 6,000 complaints of cruelty and neglect. I think a lot of it goes unnoticed or unseen, but you know, investigation needs to occur. Part of the problem, so many stray dogs, so many dangers. April here, another home forever rescue was probably hit by a car and dragged. It's graphic, but look at her injury. Fortunately, she's going to be okay. <laughs> But there's so many dogs in need of good homes. Home Forever has more than 130 of them, fostering them and trying to find families, encouraging people to spay and neuter their pets. Toledo here is expected to survive, but she obviously has a long way to go. A lot of trust issues as well as health issues, but she'll likely end up in a foster home and they hope she'll be adopted. To follow Toledo's story or to help out with her vet bills, log on to MyFoxDetroit.com for more information. In Romeo, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News. I'm meteorologist Rick Sluderman. Pretty nice out there right now. These are live pictures from our Fox Cam here in Southfield with just some fair weather clouds across town, and it's going to be milder and dry for the weekend. We'll check it all for you coming up after the break. New revelations from the Boston bombing suspect. Investigators say he and his brother had set their sights on another target. It's better in every way it if you're looking for Detroit's biggest selection and best prices for everyone, your search ends at Maddox Chevrolet. Lease a new 2013 Malibu for only $155 a month. Just $155 a month for everyone. Or lease a new 2013 Equinox for only $177 a month. That's $177 a month for everyone. With over 1,200 vehicles on the lot priced right and ready to move, now is the time to lease. Open every Saturday for sales and service. It's better in every way at Maddox. What can you expect from Arby's new snack and save menu? Snacks and savings. 
15 items, each $1 to $2.99. Like Arby's new Mighty Minis, chocolate molten lava cake, and the loaded baked potato. Arby's Snack and Save Menu. The name says it all. Art Van Pure Sleep, the only place in America authorized for this Tempur-Pedic deal. 0% for 72 months, but only for a limited time. Right now, get a Tempur-Pedic queen set with a free HD TV starting at only $25 a month and save up to an additional $400 on all Tempur-Pedic mattress sets. Guaranteed to be in stock for free next day delivery or your mattress is free. To get your best deal on Tempur-Pedic, get into Art Van Pure Sleep now. Excuse me, miss. This Fiber 190 calorie brownie has all the moist, chewy deliciousness you desire. Mmm. Thanks. At 90 calories, the brownie of your dreams is now deliciously real. Diamonds, half carat solitaires, $4.99. One carat, $9.90. Certified one carats are just $19.90. Thousands of GIA diamonds guaranteed the lowest price. The latest designer style set while you watch by Factory Direct, the jewelry factory in Livonia. Detroit, consider this an invitation to Motor City Casino Hotels Club Metro. Sign up today, play an hour, and you'll get a free night stay. You'll also earn comps twice as fast as any place in town. So Club Metro members get to great meals, shows, and our spa faster. You can even earn a brand new car. Just join Club Metro and take the fast lane to a free night of luxury. Only at Motor City Casino Hotel, a million miles away, right down the street. Tonight, new developments in the investigation of the Boston Marathon bombing. The federal investigators say the two suspects were planning another attack. Their sights set on the Big Apple. Fox's Rick Leventhal with the latest. The FBI says New York City was the next possible target of the two suspects accused of setting off dual bombs at the Boston Marathon. New York's mayor and police commissioner say investigators informed them of the discovery made during an interview of the surviving suspect, Jokar Sarnaev. He told the FBI apparently that he and his brother had intended to drive to New York and designate additional explosives in Times Square. Officials say Sarnaev claims the decision was made spontaneously while on the run, but was foiled when their carjack victim escaped at a gas station, leading to a shootout with police. But to that point, the two brothers had at their disposal six improvised explosive devices. One was a pressure cooker bomb, similar to the two that had exploded at the marathon. The other five were pipe bombs. Mayor Bloomberg says if the brothers had made it to Times Square, their deadly mission would have been a challenge. Officials bulked up police presence in the area immediately following the Boston attacks and have high-tech surveillance equipment constantly monitoring the streets. The investments that we've made in counterterrorism operations, technology, and intelligence help reduce the possibility of a successful terrorist strike, but they certainly do not eliminate it. Nothing can do that. We don't know if we would have been able to stop the terrorists had they arrived here from Boston. We're just thankful that we didn't have to find out that answer. The police commissioner says the NYPD is investigating trips the surviving suspect made to New York City last year and who he might have met with while he was here. In New York, Rick Leventhal, Fox News. Those pesky showers that cross the area for the afternoon hours are now off to our east. They are history, and in fact, we have a nice stretch of dry weather to show you in our seven-day forecast. Here are the highs today across the Great Lakes. 53 here. That's our current reading. 50s for Chicago and Traverse City. Noticeably cooler again up across the UP, but the numbers at the airport, 53 and 31. Here are your averages. So again, we're below average for today. There's your precipitation total. Almost a tenth of an inch of rain at Metro Airport. Most of us are near 50 degrees right now and it'll stay relatively nice for the next couple of hours but once that sun goes down temperatures will fall off tonight it's going to be a cool start to the day tomorrow but the big story is the overall pattern change that's going to bring in milder air starting tomorrow and that's going to last through the weekend and beyond check out the seven day coming up for the rest of tonight a few clouds cool and dry will get down to 35 here is your friday forecast partly sunny tomorrow pleasant with an afternoon high near 60 degrees and then the full seven 
seven day shows a good looking weekend. How about 70 degrees into next week for Tuesday and Wednesday? We'll check all of the numbers for you coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. I'm Sherry Margolis. In HealthWorks, we know that your diet can determine your risk for heart disease. And now something else, a byproduct of bacteria in your gut can predict your future risk of heart disease as well. Researchers at the Cleveland Clinic have discovered that a byproduct of intestinal bacteria contributes to heart disease and can actually be used as a screening tool for predicting future risks of heart attack and stroke. The compound, TMAO, is responsible for cholesterol building up on artery walls and hardening of the arteries. The findings suggest a TMAO test could be used to discover possible cardiovascular problems ahead. You can reduce your risk of heart disease by joining Fox 2 and St. John Providence Health System for the Healthy Heart Project this Saturday. It's a whole heart checkup and it's all free. It's this Saturday morning at two locations, St. John Hospital and Medical Center in Detroit and Providence Hospital in Southfield. You get free heart screenings plus the chance to talk one on one with doctors. You can learn more. Just visit the health page of our website, myfoxdetroit.com. Hill, Monica. All right, Jerry, thank you. A basketball tournament is a big de deal. The kids on the team practice all the time. The parents change their schedule. The coaches get ready for a long weekend. And then they find out at the last minute the tournament is called off. We called in problem solver Rob Olchek to investigate. Rob? Hill, Monica, it seems to happen again and again, at least when you're dealing with one of John Graham's tourneys. John's a guy who claims he's been running tournaments for decades, but it looks like he's been making players, coaches, and parents mad for decades. And if you want your money, back or you want to complain in person to John or his mysterious helper in the business, good luck. John's hard to find, but I got him and put him on the spot. Watch me put him in the Hall of Shame tonight on Fox 2 News at 10. I'm Dan Miller live in Allen Park. When you think of the Detroit Lions, you think about players these guys write about. No, we got the very <laughs> talented duo from DetroitLions.com, and they've got a way to break down this draft and figure out what's going to happen at number five. That's coming up next. Fox 2 Weather Authority brought to you by the Southeast Michigan Ford dealers. Think Ford first. Motor Trend asked people to take the EcoBoost Challenge, and they discovered for themselves that Ford mileage beats Toyota in every segment we compete. What? I just automatically interpret Toyota as having better gas mileage. Getting that kind of gas mileage is awesome. That means I'm not just throwing all of my check into my tank. Even fewer stops at the gas station. Ford, my mind is blown. Prove it to yourself. Take the Ford EcoBoost Challenge today. Right now, get 0% financing for 60 months. Or take advantage of great customer cash offers. Get your Southeast Michigan Ford dealers. Thinking about donating a car to charity for a tax deduction? Be careful. Some programs are middlemen who give a small fraction to charity and pocket the rest. At Volunteers of America, we don't donate money to charity. We are the charity. That means 100% of your donation stays with Volunteers of America Michigan, helping thousands of Michigan children, veterans, and seniors. Go online to carshelpingpeople.org to donate your vehicle where it will do the most good. Volunteers of America, Michigan. This is news. Serta, the number one mattress manufacturer, picked Gardner White, Michigan's best sleep store, to introduce iComfort Directions. Step up to a cooler, better, smarter iComfort queen set for just $19.99 or $35 a month. We have every model in stock with next day delivery free, a 32-inch TV free, no down payment, and five years interest free. Don't overpay. We won't be undersold on iComfort. Save on iComfort now at your best sleep store. Gardner White. What makes you green? Wellside? Envy makes me green. Well, our windows are plastic and can be recycled and should be right after purchase. The fiberglass windows are more energy efficient than the vinyl these guys sell. Magic windows can save you a whole lot of green. We can't do that. Can you guys do that? We can't do that. We're the manufacturer. The debate is over. Call today and save 50% off fiberglass windows. 888-77-MAGIC. You can't move the TV there. Yeah, huh? We have a wireless receiver. Listen, back in my day, there was no U-verse wireless receiver that lets you move the TV away from the TV outlet. We can move to the kitchen, the patio, the closet, 
at almost anywhere. Why would you want a TV in the closet? <laughs> Brilliant idea, darling. The wireless receiver. Get you verse TV for just $19 a month with qualifying bundles and get a $150 promotion card. Rethink possible. We are live in Allen Park. Round one of the NFL draft coming up tonight. The Lions brain trust in the war room back there. We're down here on the inside field. A couple of guys do a great job keeping track of the team on DetroitLions.com. Mike O'Hara, Tim Twentyman. Let's get to this. They're picking number five. Mike, you've been doing this a long time. There are years where they were picking 11 or 19 where I felt like I had a better idea who might be there. Why so much confusion? Well, I think, first of all, there's no star quarterback or running back or wide receiver at the top to push people down Then sort of narrows the focus on what the Lions want. And it's, you know, I think it's an offensive tackle, really, an offensive lineman. And so now you've got a group of four or five guys, or any one of them could be. Now Eric Fisher's going to be the first pick. But there's so many guys who fit that slot right now that you can't pick one out. And then who's to say they're going to take an offensive line? Well, you mentioned the offensive lineman. We've heard so much about the tackles, Tim. Fisher will be gone. Joke will be gone. Now people are talking about Lane Johnson. Do we have any idea whether or not the Lions are one of the teams that like Lane Johnson? You know, I'd be a little bit reserved about Lane Johnson just for the simple fact that you're talking about a guy who was a quarterback four years ago. You know, he was a, then he switched to tight end and, and made the switch over to tackle. He, he played right tackle as a junior, but only one year playing left tackle. To me, that's a little bit worrisome. You, you in the Lane Johnson camp, or are you one that has some trepidation about picking him at five? I have some trepidation with him, but but he's such an athlete. I looked at him. He's look. He's got two years as a starting, you know, starting offensive lineman, a tackle at Oklahoma. So I think that's okay. I'd, I'd be good there. But if you're going to get a guy, what's wrong with a Chance Warmack? You know, a guard who that, plays that guard. was one I was going to bring up. I think you can make a case for a guard. You can make a case for a tackle. You can make a case for a corner or a defensive end. The guys that seem to have the least amount of questions would be Cooper and Warmack, the two guards. Well, I I, I go back to last week when Martin Mayhew used the reference to Dave Kingman and I think those guys are a perfect example you don't want to swing and miss on a guy you want a guy who can get on base you know that that single hitter and I think both those guards are, are a safe pick they're the guy that gets on base all the time they're going to help you in the long run okay but what about the other side of it guys Dean Milner the cornerback who helps keep people off base off you know off the bases and doesn't give up the home runs and is a position where this team could use some help and we saw this team struggle to get off the field last year let, let me go to another quick one. Give me 10 seconds each on Ziggy Ansa. He's the other name we've heard connecting with this team, the defensive end out of BYU. If you say Ziggy, I'd zag. I'd go in a different direction. <laughs> <laughs> really would. Tim, you're the same way. I mean, that, this would be a swing for the fence as a guy without a lot of experience. You said it. I think it goes back to that Dave Kingman reference. You either hit a home run or he's just another guy. Can you afford for him to be just another guy? All right, gentlemen, the moment of truth. This is the hat that whomever the Lions select tonight will get. You don't get it. But somebody will get this hat tonight. This is the official one from New Era. At number five, the Lions will hand that hat to... I'm going to say D. Milner, but I don't feel strong about it. For 19 mil, I'll wear it. <laughs> Who do you think, real quick? I'm going to go D. Milner as well, even though I like the offensive lineman, but I think it's D. Milner. Two cornerback picks right here. We'll see what happens. Tigers in action today against the Royals. Straight to the 10th inning. Phil Coke loaded the bases, and then Alex Gordon unloaded them. It was a grand slam home run that wanted a wa It wasn't a walk-off, but the Tigers couldn't come up with anything at the bottom of the inning. Royals win it, close out the two-game series by gaining a split 8-3, the final score for the Tigers and the Royals. All right, D. Milner, number five, guys. We'll have to wait and see. It's going to be an interesting night and a night that I think a lot of people are trying to figure out just which way it's going to go. These guys will keep you updated all night long on DetroitLions.com. That'll do it from here in Allen Park. More coming up tonight at 10 and on the edge at 11. A professional photographer takes pictures of a group of 80-year-old tennis players, but then they couldn't agree on a price for the pictures, so they took their battle to the courts. Winner takes all. Stunning. Style. Spring at Art Van. Fresh looks, exclusive brands. HGTV Home, Metropolitan Home. Make them your own with custom fabrics, introductory sale prices, special financing, and no sales tax. See our 118-page catalog in stores or at artvan.com. Win a $10,000 HGTV shopping spree. Brand new season, brand new store. Brands you'll love. Art Van. It's sometimes shocking. What's happening up here? Always surprising. Be there when the top four learn their fate. Idle results. Tonight at 8 on Fox 10. 
Fox 2 News real-time closed captioning. Brought to you by Wallside Windows. We can do that. We are the factory. 1-800-521-7800. Hey, Don Massey Cadillac is exclusively offering True Price, a hassle-free way of car buying, giving you the knowledge you need and the price you want from a dealership you can trust. So eliminate the back-and-forth negotiation and get the True Price, the competitive advantage from Don Massey Cadillac in Plymouth. Don Massey Cadillac will not be undersold and will match any competitor's offer. You better check with Massey before you buy. Don Massey Cadillac, I-275 and Ann Arbor Road in Plymouth or DonMasseyCadillac.com. Check out the all-new fuel-efficient 2013 Ford Fusion. Get 0% financing for 60 months or receive $1,500 in customer cash. Only at your Southeast Michigan Ford dealers. I'm Bo Deedle, and I'm slicing up the truth about value at Arby's. You're in luck today. You've got your choice of 15 delicious items on Arby's new snack and save menu. What do you like better, the snacking or the saving? The saving. I like the snacking. I snack a lot. I still don't look that bad, right? You look very nice. Well, you look very nice, too. Arby's new snack and save menu has 15 items, each $1 to $2.99, like Arby's new Mighty Minis, chocolate molten lava cake, and the loaded baked potato. Arby's snack and save menu. The name says it all. One day, Amy filled up her tank, her tummy, and got a Mega Millions ticket. The next day, she filled up her pockets. Bold, compelling. Fox 2 News at 10. News that works for you. A photographer hoping to get paid what she's owed for her services makes a big challenge. One that would either have her walk away a winner or leave empty-handed. Fox 2's Mario Lu explains how the showdown ended. What would you do if you did work and someone didn't want to pay you for it? That's what happened to Zhang. So she took these 80-year-olds to court, the tennis courts, and said, if you can beat me, you win. Bill, try to remember she's a lady. I know there's a lot of money involved. And a lot of pride at stake. This is the Over the Hill tennis team. They play at the West Bloomfield Tennis Club twice a week. They're all over 80, and they like things cheap, real cheap. This blood match started when Zhang, a freelance photographer, took pictures of the octogenarians for Michigan Prime Magazine. Hung out with them for an hour and a half, you know, and we were just shooting pictures. It was a great time. Mm -hmm. Everything was great. Until they mentioned they wanted several copies of the pictures. But selling photos is how Zhang makes her money. She says, well, $100 a piece or some, some ridiculous amount. And I said, Sean, you're out of your mind. We're not going to spend that kind of money. Yeah. She says, well, maybe 50. I said, no, we're not going to spend 50. I will give you a 50% discount. Five zero. I'm giving you 50% discount. And they still wouldn't make it. Yeah, they're like, ah, oh, Sean, we're on a fixed income. I'm like, but you belong to the, you know, West Bloomfield <laughs> Tennis Club. I'm sure you spend that much on, on, on lunch. Come on. You guys, come on. That's 10 bucks each. I know you guys can do it. They couldn't reach a deal, so instead they made a bet. Let's take this to the courts. She's a 40 and we're 80 something. Uh, she should kick our <laughs> We'd show you the game, but there wasn't much to see. It was over in seconds. Zhang never had a chance. The Over the Hill squad put their best player on the line, 81-year-old Bill. You put a beating on her. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she just couldn't keep up. Did you think it would be that easy? No, actually, I didn't. I thought it was going to be more difficult than that. You whipped up on her. Oh, I'm over twice her age. What did you do to get ready for the game? Were you oh. practicing? Were you nervous? What? I think he had a no, martini. I, I, <laughs> Say what? I think he had a martini. <laughs> I believe it was two martinis. Two martinis. It's not about winning. It's about playing the game. That's the right? right? No. no, it's about it's winning. winning. Is it? Really? <laughs> I know that they were taking it easy on me, except for Bill. Bill was out for blood. <laughs> Bill's like, I am not letting this girl beat me. And when they did, but in the end, they still paid up $10 each. But this game is far from over. When I get some more practice in me, I'm, I'm coming back for you, Bill. Uh-oh. Coming back for you. Round Rematch. Marielle Lou, Fox 2 News. That's great. Fantastic. As it is at 6 tonight, we let it rip with the newest face in the race for Mayor of Detroit, Tom Barrow, while he thinks the fourth time is the charm. Plus, the new effort to eliminate jail time and heavy fines for people who smoke marijuana. We'll see you back here at 10. Access Hollywood starts right now. This is very...
Embarrassing and lovely. And apparently not sitting well with some. I'm Billy Bush. There's backlash for people's most beautiful, Gwyneth. So where the heck is it coming from? I mean, she's the princess. Did you know marriage was going to be like this? Approaching her 10-year anniversary with Chris Martin, I'm Kid Hoover with Gwyneth's thoughtful words on their journey. It's always a complicated arrangement, but... Amazing, I love it, I love it. They're for real, it's really zero makeup. Not a drop behind the scenes for natural beauty at its brave best. I'm Sean Robinson and their confessions are just as candid. It's something that I always want to cover up. I'm over it, it's in the past. You're gonna say stupid Ah, yet it's still so charming to hear. I'm Michelle Beadle, but what's helping Oksana most as she moves past Mel? The way I can answer to that question is really by saying... Gwyneth Paltrow killing it on the red carpet. Welcome to Access Hollywood. A day after being named the most beautiful woman in the world, the headlines speak volumes. But are these headlines deserved? This is very embarrassing and lovely and very sweet. I'm sure your family was very happy and thrilled too. I think my kids have no idea, but yeah. They're always proud of me. <laughs> Living up to her people's most beautiful title on the very day she was crowned, Gwyneth was super sexy at the Iron Man 3 premiere in an Antonio Berardi gown with sheer panels. Our film critic Scott Movie Mance unleashed the cover on her co-stars. Oh, uh, world's most beautiful woman. It's only because I wasn't also in the category. <laughs> yep, she is the most beautiful woman in the world not standing next to me. Iron Man himself, Robert Downey Jr., alongside wife Susan, thinks the honor is well-deserved. But not everyone is feeling the Paltrow love. The cover of the New York Post screams, huh? While inside, the headline says, is this pompous film star really the world's most beautiful? I feel my most beautiful when I am truly myself. <laughs> Really, Gwyneth has been dealing with haters throughout her career, but lately it's kind of reached a fever pitch. More magazine editor-in-chief Leslie Jane Seymour thinks it's largely because she's seen as, quote, having it all due to her privileged upbringing and perceived lack of struggle. She's not Sandra Bullock. This right. is not warm and fuzzy. This is not your girlfriend next door. I think there's a little bit of jealousy and a little bit of too unattainable. <laughs> Unattainable, perhaps because of Gwyneth's Goop website, which gives lifestyle tips that critics say are unrelatable. For example, her recommended spring wardrobe picks added up to $450,000. Gwyneth tells People Magazine she's not advising anyone to go out and buy all this, and that, quote, it's just supposed to serve as inspiration. She also reveals others' opinions do not matter to her in any way. Good for her that she's saying, you know what, if they don't like me, there's nothing I can do about it. In a wonderful way, she is telling women, you know what, you are who you are. And you know what, I'm, I'm happy to live with that. Gwyneth shows off her fun side on tonight's episode of The Graham Norton Show on BBC America. We asked her to explain this moment with British comedian Lee Mack.